what is up players you have now entered the playground if you are new welcome if you're returning welcome back my name is MJ and today I'm reacting to the truth about my brother KSI. This is Deji's video. I am interested in watching this. You guys pulled me into this beef and now I'm all entwined and really just wanting to do my whole Oprah thing, you know, when it comes to this whole scenario here. Um, one of you guys asked me to watch J Deji's latest video and what when I went to his channel, I saw that he had a video about his house in LA. I honestly doubt that's what you guys are talking about. So I'm assuming that it was the one before the last which is this one here. I don't know what's about to go on. I don't know if he's about to spill some more tea, but I know that I'm ready to watch. If you guys are too, give me a thumbs up and let's press play. All right, guys, <clears throat> what's up? Wow, okay. you know it's real when he's clearing his throat. Like he just woke up and put a shirt on. He's like, let's talk. That's real. You're about, this will be the last time I talk about this. This is like me and my brother. This mm. situation with me and my brother. And uh, it's, it's annoying because people were saying that I backstabbed my brother for years. Mm -hmm. And that's, but that was never the case. All right. Okay, wait, hold on, stop. If you guys think that that's what it is, can you comment below? Because I keep hearing this thing about, I mean, I heard you guys write in the comments that, like, basically this whole thing started because, like, one of KSI's friends said the Deji's channel was dying, if I'm correct. And, um... Again, I didn't follow them, so is it true? Is it like, do y'all believe, write it in the comments, do y'all believe that that's what happened here, like he was just looking for clout? I honestly don't think so, and that's, you know, that's from the outside looking in. I find Deji to be a little, a lot more genuine, in my opinion, to KSI, but who knows, okay? We, we don't know. Uh, the diss track I made on my brother was made a week before JJ made his sorry video. Hmm. Or sorry video, I should say. It was literally <laughs> a week before Hmm. That. And the thing is, my brother knew I was, you know, I made that diss track. So why was he upset? I made that sorry video just to deter you guys from the diss track. Oh, so he made a video after Deji put the, well, well right before, because he knew it was coming out. Wow, sneaky, you sly, That's I... the only reason, because he gave me, he said he gave me 100% like a go-ahead to upload this diss track, and that's exactly what I did, and then... It surprised me that he made that I'm sorry video and then he kept then he kept tweeting things uh, publicly. That's why me saying this is what Okay, so let me let me talk about that too. I find that to be very um it, that's not genuine in my opinion like if you're tweeting stuff um, like I said, you guys put me in the little loophole and before I decided to watch this video, I did see, I watched like a snippet of like Logan's, I think it's Logan, yeah, Logan Paul's podcast and Deji was talking about how KSI was tweeting him publicly saying that he wants to talk and I felt like that's not genuine, like it, I'll never, be, just like I don't believe social media relationships, like if y'all love each other, you don't need to get online and tell us every single day, you know? Like spend some time actually loving on each other. And that's the same thing. Like if you, if you wanted to talk to your brother privately, you wouldn't do it on a public platform. But that's just my opinion. His story is genuine. I came to LA to record this video. I've spent a lot of money making this video. Hmm. And you expect me to not just drop it. I mean, exactly. spent over 30k from travels. And Hello. I'm pretty sure you dropped that video as well. Right, especially if you said it was okay. How much time you spent on it. And a lot of people aren't really understanding the full story between me and JJ. Hmm. So, I don't think we'll ever know the full story because that's the honest truth. Like, even between the sad man and him and JJ, I feel like there's still always going to be, like, missing pieces. Just because y'all not... Like, he can release all the di diss tracks he wants, and KSI can respond, but it's th there are things they know about each other that we're not going to know, and there's little pieces of the puzzle that we're, we're missing. When, you know, his cameraman dropped his second diss track, right? Hmm. My mum was crying. From watching it, she was Aww. crying. She cried and was calling my brother, being like, how is this fair? You guys are trying to ruin my son. This is so sad, like his voice is trembling when he talks about that. You can tell that he really cares for his mom. AJ didn't, from the little I heard, he didn't care. Mm. Not, he, he didn't care. He really didn't care. Oh, poor Deji. to the point that I just saw red. I just saw red, I took the phone off my mom and I just ended the call. Mm. I literally just ended the call and I saw red. Mm. Because the fact that JJ could allow such a thing, that's why I wasn't cool with him. And that's why it's going to be very hard for him to get back into my life. Well. I didn't backstab him. Hmm. There was no backstabbing involved. Well, that's real. JJ's 
Gigi is a guy to not be trusted. Well, there you have it. Like, you can generally feel like, you can tell that he means what he's saying. What's crazy is, I looked on KSI's channel, I looked on Deji's channel, they both still have each other, like, under the channels that they promote, you know, type thing. I don't know if you guys have seen it on the side panel. Usually, you'll see it in the desktop, or if you're on your phone, you click the channels tab. They both still have each other on there. Last I checked, that was, like, last time I reacted to, you know, the disc. So, I mean, I know, I mean, they're, they're blood anyway, like, what are you gonna do with your brother? But you can tell this like this this is cutting deep. Like if it's fake beef, then they're they the both of them are at least dead. He's acting his ass off. That's all I'm gonna say. He says I'm very manipulative, but he literally manipulated you guys when he uploaded that sorry video and all mm. his tweets. The only reason he did that was only because he knew what I was doing. How else do you think he would know if I was going on the Logan Paul podcast and dropping a diss track? Hmm. Because I told him, but like wow. I, told him, I told him, I told him that Logan Paul invited me on his on his podcast, wow. and that I'm dropping a diss track on him. So why would he publicly? I understand this. I told him that on a phone a phone call. Private. Why didn't you say anything so on the phone? He publicly right. put it out there that I'm doing all of that, only to deter you guys. That seems now, common sense. When it comes to me and my brother, like I said, it's going to be very, very hard for me to, for him to get back into I feel like he's talking to y'all, but he's also talking to KSI too. And that's bad. That's bad when you guys have gotten to the point that you just can't sit in the room and talk it out. That's bad when both of you guys have to communicate via the internet. That's so sad. Because he's doing things like this, which is just not genuine. Mm -hmm. If you guys think this is genuine, you are very wrong. This is, this is no... It's, it's not genuine at all. Deji feels like he's genuine. He feels like he's telling the truth, but he's finding it hard to put his... Like, he's not the best at wording stuff, if that makes sense. So, like, oh, poor thing. He's struggling. None of this is genuine. That's why a lot of people are attacking me, saying that I'm an asshole mm. for what I've done. Oh, really? You don't understand all the shit that my brother has put me through wow. over the years. Wow. When JJ made his sorry video, all he talked about was things during the fight. Oh, I supported you during our, when we were sparring and everything. He didn't talk about anything before that, did mm. he? He didn't talk about any other thing that he did to support me. Wow. Obviously, he will say, oh, I helped you with your channel. But he didn't really help me with my channel. If people didn't like my character, they, they wouldn't just wouldn't subscribe. subscribe. Hello? People wouldn't just subscribe to someone because he's just the brother or something. That's real. And if they did, they wouldn't stay subscribed. I hate when people feel like that. Yeah, maybe it gives you a little bit of exposure, but no. Like, if people don't like you, they just, I tell that to people all the time. Cross-promotion is great, but if your content is not for people, then it's just not for them. Right. If he was just the brother or something. Right. If I, that's the thing. There's many, there's many things into it. That's why when people were saying that Deji, you backstabbed your brother... I, de I, that's far from the truth. Hmm. I didn't backstab my brother. Wow. I've only done nothing but support him in literally everything he does. Oh. He's the one who's backstabbed me. And because I called him and I told him, did you watch Randall's diss track before it came out? And <laughs> if JJ ever denies it, like I said, I did record the conversation because JJ is a very crafty guy. Ooh. Did you watch Randall's diss track before it came out? Hmm. He said yes. Wow. And he let him release it anyway. There stuff there. He said it's okay, and let Randolph post it. I haven't heard this diss track, but I think this is the one where you say like his personal business, like JJ gave him intel to use against Deji. Is that the one? Understand why I'm angry? He, he, he openly. My mom was crying on the phone to him, and that didn't bother him. Hmm. That's when you know he's lost. My mother was crying on the phone to him, screaming. Being like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? He's far and gone. I was in the straw and I couldn't take that. Aww. I couldn't take that. I nearly cried from that. That's why I just saw red. Hmm. I just saw red and I listened. That's why I've been gone. Yeah. I saw red. If I was going to react to any, I was angry. Very angry. I can understand. I would have traveled all the way to my brother's house mm -hmm. just to beat him up. Oh. That's how angry I was. Yikes. All his friends too. I wanted to beat them up. Ah. I was that angry. So you guys saying that I backstabbed my brother, that's far from the truth. Mm. And as it goes for my brother, 
me personally, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be very, very hard for him to get back into my life. I understand life. that. This sorry video is that. If you sorry, call me and tell me yourself. He's done all of this. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything to do with him. Mm. Very manipulative. Ooh. Very, very manipulative. And the, and it's sad because he's also manipulating you guys now. <laughs> he's manipulating you. And guys. that's easy to do. Like I feel like when you get to a certain, even in general, like the younger kids, the the huge demographic of people that watch YouTube are very impressionable as it is. You know, and they come in flocks. But then when you're at that level of success, people really take everything you say as the Bible. So it's like, it is easy to do. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to stay neutral and I, I can't wait till something comes out that maybe I can watch from KSI. Besides, like, just the diss track. Because I don't want this to become a diss track channel. That's not what this is. But I would like to get, like, an update and see and hear from both of their perspective. Because there is two sides to every story. But just from the outside looking in, it does seem right now that Deji is being genuine. And K KSI is definitely, like... Went off the radar. Me hate, and sadly you guys are, you, you're falling for it. You're falling for it. All I want you to do is to sit back and really, really study. Yeah, just analyze how, the situation. How everything really turned mm -hmm. out. Do you really think I would backstab my own brother for views? Do you really think I would do that? Yeah, exactly. Do you really think? And I if it was about that, then like you would, he would be putting mad ads. Like think about, look at this kind of video for example. I don't see one on this video. He would be putting mad ads on his video, right? Wouldn't that be the case? Like, he can monetize the heck out of this and, and make a ton of money. He's got over 2 million views. But that's not what, what it's about. And I think a lot of people are missing that point. You guys are just, like, jumping on the bandwagon. But once again, like, I can't wait to see to hear it from another side of the story. Do I think that Deji should have went to the podcast? <sighs> Considering whose podcast it was, I'm going to say no. But if you really watch, like watched it i only saw some parts he did it with a good kind heart and he did it because he felt like logan was like um like what do you, what do you want to call it he thought he was um why am i drawing a blank right now harmless which you know in my personal opinion i just don't trust logan paul that was my first impression of him i've never seen a video of him and they, that was my first and i was not i didn't trust him too well but that's that's from the outside looking in i know i can be wrong about my impression i didn't trust him well just as a character just the way his demeanor was and I don't know if that's an act um but I definitely wouldn't trust him if I was dead you being the fact that he was like his brother's opponent but that's neither here nor there jeopardize my family for views jeopardize my family for views which is probably the least attractive thing well a lot of people do it see. girls tell me what girl would be like yeah I want to marry that guy. He right. No, not one girl would be like, I want to marry that. Well, no, you're wrong, Deji. It's the Deji. Least attractive thing, and I would never want to do that. You lying. That's all I'm saying. There's tons of girls right. that would marry, marry, marry you. I don't want you guys to think that Even with I'm that. to jeopardize my family, because mm -hmm. that's far from the truth. Yeah, I believe I love, you. I love my mom, I love my dad. Oh. I even love my brother. But he's, he, for him to get back into my life, it's going to be very, very hard. Yeah, you didn't F'd up. Mean it's extremely like hard. Oh my. Extremely hard. I don't like going public with this. I just needed to get my point across so you guys understand. I, well, I got your I point, Deji. Mm -hmm. I'm not like that. I don't backstab anyone. I don't even backstab my friends. And my friends can vouch for me because I haven't, I've never backstabbed any of them. Mm. Not once. If we got a dollar for every time you said backstab in this video, Deji, we would be, I mean, we had a couple. We'll, we would have a couple. I, that's not how <laughs> I roll. I don't roll like that. But, yeah. Uh, thank you guys. Aww. Thank you so much. For he all sounds like he's nervous uh, and exhausted. I'm, here, I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm not anything to do with my bro. Oh, honestly, I. I'm good when it comes to that. He's draw the line. The one who you draw know, the line. are seeing this and supporting me. Thank you so much. I support you, Deji. You, obviously, you're not really seeing it. Mm-hmm. I mean. It's okay. All your bad words and everything. I've, it's it's okay. I I would I would understand your anger, but I just want you to know it's not like that in the slightest. All right. It's I I don't do that with family. You don't you don't jeopardize family for mm -hmm. you. No, you don't. I've never jeopardized my family for for a play button. Right. Uh, he sounds so distraught. I, I just, I don't understand wh why, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed, I'm, oh. uh, 
I love LA. I, 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 I think I'm thinking of it. That's so random. LA, honestly. Anyway, guys, hope you, hope you enjoyed. Take care. <clears throat> That is so random though. I love LA though, like. Well, all right. I mean, that was a very heartfelt video and you can honestly tell that he really meant what he was saying. He was almost like, like he was tired. You can tell he's drained from the entire thing and he, as much as he loves his brother, he just wants to be done with it already and I don't blame him. Move to LA, start fresh, Deji. Like if that's what you need to do, leave that dang UK and all this mess that it's got going on. Leave him over there with the side men and let him figure it out. You, you know, you maintain your dignity and you keep, you know, being good to your parents and your fans and we'll support you along the way. I mean, I, I just, I don't know KSI side yet. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to put any blame, but I do, I'm a big advocate for taking care of yourself and your mental health and all of that. And right now you don't seem very stable because of everything that's going on. So just do what makes you feel good, relax. Get your zen together, you know what I'm saying? Breathe in some of our American ass prana and you know, and see what you wanna do. What, why not, why not? Even if you don't move here, at least get a place here so that you have like, you can kinda juggle between the two because the British vibes are, they're killing you right now. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe. We'd love to have you. We're having tons of fun on the playground. I'll see you guys manana, bye. Mwah. <laughs>